Thank you, everyone. Thank you. For this epi- episode of movie reviews we're going to talk about. Well, before it gets this movie, I'm just going to go ahead and say, guys. It's no secret that I'm a huge sucker for animation movies. I'm a huge sucker for those. Because, cause, you know, I love the, uh, whether it's CGI or hand-drawn, you know, computer or hand-drawn, animation is my life, you know. I I grew up around Disney films, you know. Yeah, and my favorite of all is Aladdin. It's Disney's Aladdin. The animated one, but even though I do, I do like the, I do like Tarzan though. Well, well, not like the Tarzan, but the Disney Tarzan, the one with Phil Collins in it. But the review I'm gonna do is a non-Disney film, and it's from Universal Illumination Entertainment. And it's one of those movies I just saw around the. Uh, I saw around 2015, which was expanded, of course. We, we're going to go back to the beginning for the Despicable Me franchise, which is, of course, Minions, starring Stuart, Kevin, and Bob. Well, Stuart's still one eye with the guitar. Kevin is the tallest one. And Bob is just a the small and yet adorable one of the minions. But then since the dawn of time, minions have served and accidentally eliminated history's most dis- despicable villains. After their latest explosive mistakes leave them without an evil leader, the minions fall back into a deep depression with a tribe at the brink of collapse. Three unlikely heroes, Kevin Stewart and Bob, embarked on a journey to find a new big boss. When their cl- when their quest leads them to their next Potential master, Scarlet Overkill, played by Academy Award winner, Sandra Bullock. Our three heroes to face their biggest challenge yet, saving all minion kind from elimination. And yes, guys, I've uh, gotten... And yes, this is one of the movies I saw around 2015. Yes, I know I do everything geek. That's that's Anchor FM. But this is a non-geek film. Because this is animation right there. And yes, guys, it's no secret I'm a huge sucker for animation. I love this, you know. Well, this one's been debatable towards fans and debatable towards critics. Now, some people say the minions are cute. And some people are say minions are really annoying. But some people say they're annoying yet cute. But some say they're annoying. They're cute yet annoying. But but I think they're really just just really cute, you know? That's all. It's the minions, you know? But 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 the one is Bob. Bob is the one who stole the show. Because everybody loves Bob. <laughs> you know, one eye, two eyes. But even so, you know. We got in this. But now it's it was around released around the holidays. Well, even though I prefer the Blu-ray one. Well, though the film is very PG for action and rude humor. And even so. 
So yeah, you know. It's got wonderful music and and I like the premise where the minions are being chased. Where the minions were being chased by every people and he has yes and I love their premise also when they of course just <laughs> killed every every villain they one is their boss. <laughs> but even though, yeah, I like to say, you know, I'm a I'm a huge fan of animation. And the minions are the best. But speaking of coming in theaters this year of already non geek animated films are of course well, I miss How to Train Your Dragon. But, I'm already going to be going to Planet of the Sea, Secret Life of Pets 2, and Toy Story 4. And if there's a next animation film, I would definitely go see it. I would definitely go see an animated film, because, you know, I said it once, I'll say it again, I'm a huge sucker for animation movies. Alright guys, that's going to do about it for, uh, of course, uh, that's going to do about it for another movie reviews. And yes, I've already did the Peanuts movie, and now I did Minions, you know what they have in comparison? Animated movies. And then again... I'll try to find one that's a non-animated film. Recently, I got the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I still haven't watched it yet. Because I need a, you know, like a West... I need to watch a Western for once. You know, because cause the Western... Or, right now, we're, we're pretty popular in the old days. But now, it's all about superhero movies, geek, and of course, animation. But, I will see you guys next time. And the other two the bottom, but the bottom.